What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about how excited I am for the Callisto Protocol. This will be my last video talking about the game before review scores go up, and then before I cover the game, you know, when it launches and I do all those videos. But, you know, I like to make these videos every now and then just to talk about my excitement because it is a thing with me as we get closer to some of these uh, big releases. You know, I tend to get really, really excited. Maybe, maybe too excited for some games, but no, I, honestly, I think the closer we get to Callisto Protocol, I've said this before in like the other videos, I do like, I'm warming up to the idea that this game can really be something very, very special um, of this year. You know, I've been watching a lot of like Glenn Schofield videos. I think he went on like Wired or whatever and he answered questions on, uh, on like Twitter and whatnot. And he just see. I mean, I like the guy. I've always liked kind of his energy from what he's shown up uh, at, at like the Game Awards or stuff like that for Jeff Keighley. And he I don't even know if it was the Game Awards, but whenever he shows up with Jeff, he seems like he could be the leader of the mafia. And I really like that about him personally. Uh, and so I just, I don't know, I kind of back him. And obviously from his, you know, creative side, he is a, he is a very creative person with Dead Space and with uh, Callisto. But a thing that got me thinking about this video was, you know, I, I you know, I tend to recap, right? So I, I recapped the year in my head and I was thinking well leaving this year when we go into 2023 or even you know years in the future what are some games that I think are going to be like the standouts the games that we talk about uh, that released this year and I think obviously like the Elden Ring and God of Wars of the group are you know those are obviously going to be there I don't know how many others will honestly stick out to you know a large amount of people I mean COD maybe right but like leaving this year Elden Ring, God of War, COD, maybe Horizon, I mean, maybe one or two others, but then I really, I want to include Callisto Protocol in that list. Now, not because it's going to sell, you know, 20 million units, or I think Elden Ring is at like 17 and a half, like, I don't, I don't think Callisto Protocol is going to sell 17 and a half million units, but I do think Callisto Protocol is going to sell really well, and I do think it's just going to be one of those games that, I don't know how much it'll surprise people. For people like me, it may not surprise me at all, right? Because I'm kind of hoping for some some high quality game there. Um, but everything I see about this game, and again, I've been watching kind of every developer diary that they've made, you know, on it. Uh, I am just so pumped, and I just have a lot of. I don't know. I have, I have a lot of hope that they're going to nail this and that this can be something special. I, I talked about this before in the Callisto versus, you know, I did a video talking about this versus Dead Space, right? Like which one could be better. And it's tough because, you know, the space angle, they're both kind of the same. But I really, I, I really think this one has a really good chance of coming out and just landing and being super scary. Just having that atmosphere that's like almost perfect, right? The combat may be really, really good from what we've seen. Um, I think Glenn Schofield himself even said like this game is actually kind of tough like the gameplay is is hard in it they, they purposely made it difficult or a little bit more not like impossible it's not Elden Ring for horror games but it is a difficult you know game I think I saw some people that said like you know hand-to-hand -hand combat is super super important in this game more important than you may think it is so I don't know I, I just get pumped and, and maybe it's because you know we're at the end of the year and this is the last wave right Callisto and you got Midnight Suns and Need for Speed and then Crisis Core is kind of the last big one, um, you know, of the high on life, I guess, right? So this is kind of it, and maybe that ups Callisto Protocol. But I really do believe this can be a gigantic hit in, in horror. Um, there's really good horror games that come out that are, like, indie all the time. And, of course, you have the behemoths, like, you know, Resident Evil and stuff like that. But it, I don't know. I feel like it's just been an extremely long time since a game like this, specifically this, has come out and I, I do think it's going to kind of take the world by storm now the last part of it right in terms of my excitement and, and I, maybe we can talk about this just a little is the reviews now as I always say with the review scores or just reviews in general I don't go by them I mean I'm, I'm not going to make as many videos as I've made talking about Callisto to then if it gets an eight or a seven I say "Ooh, I wasn't really looking for average <laughs> I was looking for amazing so I'm not buying the game anymore no uh, ultimately honestly the thing I'm looking for is just to see what the words literally what people are saying is the atmosphere like how is the atmosphere how is the combat right how is the story the story has always been something I've been a little shaky on I feel like that could be the biggest swing in this game uh, but ultimately again from seeing like the diaries the developer diaries and stuff like that I think the story is actually going to be pretty okay like I, I have kind of confidence in them um, there as well and if you look even at Dead Space Dead Space
Two-Face 1 and 2, fantastic. I really, really like the story. And especially with what they, you know, did with Dead Space 1, how they told the story. So there's history there. And I think they can do a pretty good job storytelling, even without that many characters talking. So including your main character for, a, you know, Dead Space. But we'll see how reviews are. You know, I'm recording this right now on November 22nd. I don't know necessarily when. You know, I, I record a lot of videos and I put up a lot of videos. I don't know when it'll go up, but I do wonder when the reviews go up for this game. We've really, you know, this entire stretch of time, the games have come out since like October, let's say. I, I've actually, I would go back to October. The review embargoes have been so close to when the game comes out. Besides God of War, God of War is, uh, it seems like it's the only one that not had confidence because I don't really necessarily believe in that. The whole, you know, if reviews go up one day before your game's doomed. Plague Tale is a good example. Um, even like Evil West is a, a very recent example. That game's not getting nines, but it's not getting fours or fives, right? So I don't know what's going on in the industry right now, but literally the last, say, 10 or so big games from October to now December, the reviews are going up like literally the day before, except for God of War, which came out a week before. So I wonder when the reviews go up for like Midnight Suns. People already have it. So I think reviews for that probably would go up rather early. And then Callisto, I don't I don't know. It, I, I feel like there would be enough confidence in Callisto to let it go up early. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean confidence. So um, hopefully the reviews are solid, if nothing else, for like the people they go based off reviews. Right. And I, I respect that. I get that. You know, you you only have so much money. You look, you want to see, hey, if the game gets like a 74 versus like an 89, which one are you more willing to buy? I get it. I understand it. Um, Again, I'm not going by that, though. Like, if the game does get, like, a 76, um, it's not going to matter too much to me. I'm just going to be paying attention to what's said. So, we'll see when the reviews actually go up, right? That's kind of the first sign if they go up, like, late next week, which is when the game comes out. So, it'll be interesting to see that. But I am pumped. I'm really, really excited. And, and the more I think about it, it I, I think it gets a leg up because it's horror. Um, and, it's you know, it's a different genre than what you normally get. I mean, horror is probably the most – well, I don't know. I mean, there's, like, strategy and there's a lot of other stuff but you know in like the mainstream what a lot of people buy horror is kind of that that outsider and it's always been that way for like movies and stuff too but I, just, I feel like it has a huge crowd right and this game really stands a chance at kind of shaking it up like can this really be a better game than the original dead space like can this really make a mark not just on horror but just like a really amazing game with the atmosphere and with all that stuff and i think it can and it just needs to kind of stick the landing so i'm getting very excited and, and this is again on the 22nd i can't wait to see how i feel on you know december 1st so let me know what you guys think Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. I will be covering it still. So, like, when reviews go up, I'll cover the reviews. When the game is out, you know, I'll play it. I'll do a review. We'll talk about the game, all that stuff. Uh, so there's many more videos coming for Callisto. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.